You said that he only had two things that he could really complain about and said this was your most complete game. Do you feel that way? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, just a time on a run play where I, I threw it to Dante and uh, we didn't connect. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd say that one. And uh, I don't know what the other one is, but, you know, we're, I'm sure, you know, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> What, what was what was your feel going into that game? He he kept just said we felt like we could score. Yeah, no, yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, I think we 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 needed a game like that. We uh, you know put up a lot of points against A and M, and then we knew that we were going to have to put up a lot of points with the defense and the injuries that they had. So I think everybody prepared. We got the game plan done uh, early in the week, and uh, everybody executed and knew it. How impressed were you with what Jalen Walton and I guess, were I was, able to do? I was really impressed, but at the same time, I I believe in them just as much as Jeff, um, Octavius. He had a he had a big night against A and M, and then for Jalen to come out and play the way he did, it was uh, it was exciting to see. What was the key for you on th on those third and longs? I've been I've been thinking all week, man. I got to be better at third down, so I just really concentrated all week, even during practice, uh, on those third downs and our game plan on third down and. I think it, it definitely showed this week. It's a sense of relief for the team to finally be through that gauntlet. Yeah, no doubt. Gosh, um, you know, I don't think anybody's played a, a tougher schedule in the country uh, than the teams we played. So, I mean, yeah, anytime you can go ahead and get rid of those guys, then it's definitely a relief. What's your feeling going out on for that last drive? You kind of pinned down and you knew yeah. you had to do something? Yeah, I mean, we had to do something. We couldn't leave it in the defense's hands again. We couldn't leave it in anybody else's hands. We had to go down and, um, you know, score. And that's exactly what we did. How critical did you think that first, first down of that drive was? Really critical. I feel like if we, you know, if, if we have a good, you know, opening, you know, first series of plays where we can get a first down, usually we're rolling, uh, especially on first down. If we can pick up, pick up some yards on first down, we're usually rolling if you go back and look at all of our series. Bo Coach Freeze talked about wondering if fatigue would eventually catch up with the defense. What, what did you think before the game about the defense? Were you concerned there? I, I was, yeah. I was concerned just because, um, you know, I knew they'd have a great plan and, uh, you know, I knew those guys were going to fight, but, uh, you know, we were sh so shorthanded. Uh, you know, going through the week, we're, we're doing red ball and things, and you see guys that, you know, you haven't seen out there since camp. So uh, we're, we're definitely really thin. So uh, it was in all of our, our – players on offense mind that we had to score every time we had to touch the ball. The last two weeks before the LSU game, well, excuse me, the A&M game and the LSU game, the inside run game started clicking. Where, where do you think that developed from? Just with the old line, I think they're developing, you know, more of a mentality, a, a nastier mentality, and uh, you see it there. They're doing a great job. Jalen's run, uh, you know, I, I just watched it, um, the TV copy of it, and the, it was wide open. Jalen just hit it and, and took it the rest of the way, but they're just doing a great job up front. Do you expect that to make it easier for Jeff on the outside when he's healthy? Yeah, you know, ends are going to have to, you know, start playing as different. And, uh, you know, anytime you play us one way, we can hurt you in, in other ways. So, um, yeah, anytime we can run inside, it's definitely going to help us. What fewer draws? What was the difference with the receivers this week? I think they just concentrated. They knew that they had to have a big game, and uh, they just came up and showed up and played. A bunch of people have asked me to ask you this. Are you aware of the Dr. Bo nickname? Um, yeah, I am. I, I, it came from a video game. They were playing video games yeah. or something, so yeah, I'm aware of it. What do you think of it? Uh, you know, it's cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's whatever. Bo, last week, uh, Evan had said, you know, even though you guys had, you know, had a couple different lineups, that, uh, you know, along the line and, you know, breaking in some um, freshmen, yeah. that the communication's been pretty good for you guys all year. Just how important is it to have kind of a, a senior leader like Evan along that line to get you guys in the right call? It's huge, and he, he's such a smart football player. Yeah. Uh, you know, his dad was a coach, he was a coach's kid, and um, he's a smart guy out there. He's making all, the, all their calls, so, um, you know, he's definitely, uh, you know, very vital to us, and we need him to stay healthy and uh, you know, in there every play. Yeah. How do you think the offense changes without Evan? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's going to change a little bit just because he was that guy that, you know, we can go 11 personnel and do a lot of different things, flex them out and, and things like that. So, you know, of course it's going to change. And, um, you know, it hurts me a little bit having not having him to, to stretch the field. But, um, you know, Nick Parker caught a touchdown, so he has to get prepared to play this week and, and be ready to go. But was it difficult to come back down after a win? that big and, and get back to reality and uh no nah, no because you know as big as that win was for us in the fan base if we go out here and, and don't show up against idaho uh that win doesn't really mean a lot so 
um, you know, we know who we'll play this week and, and we're prepared just like they're any other team.